So, being an indie dev is hard. Make an entire game by yourself is pretty insane. And I would never recommend anyone try it, but if you had to, it's good to know what kind of tools are available to you that might make your life slightly less impossible. I'm a 3D artist by trade, and today we are gonna test a new AI to 3D software that generates supposedly usable topology. Now, personally, I have my doubts. We have tried other software before, and the topology pretty much always requires at least one pass of retopology. And thankfully, things like Z-Remesha make it pretty easy to take things with shitty topology, and, you know, basically within one click, you get something usable. But let's see how Rode in 3D's quality compares to what we've tried in the past. Also, this is not a sponsored video. I am legitimately just curious to try this out. I haven't paid for anything, but they give you a few credits that you can use to try things out for free, so we're gonna use it. So for the first test, let's just do something simple like a shield. What happens when you throw in a classic medieval shield? Okay, so some really cool things I've noticed here is even though the picture never shows you the backside of the shield, the AI has kind of imagined what it should look like, and it's created the two straps that you might expect to find on the back of one of these shields. So I'm actually kind of impressed with the AI's ability to fill in the blanks. It's actually pretty impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and finalize this and download it and check it out. And oh, they give you the textures too. I really like that. Let's see what it looks like in Blender. Okay, so the topology is definitely better than what we get with the other software, like substantially better. It's still not optimal, but if I'm being honest, I mean, depending on your project and if your game is using Nanite, the poly count doesn't really matter as much. And especially with the textures on, it doesn't look half bad. I could definitely see this if you were super crunched for time and you just needed a bunch of simple background standalone objects. I honestly don't think the player would notice or care about the minor topology mistakes that you see in some of these areas. Okay, so let's do something a bit more complicated like a helmet. Everyone knows shields are really easy, but how does it handle something more sophisticated? Hmm, all right. Okay, so on the one hand, it's not bad. The only thing I'm not too happy about is like the original design, we had this slick, narrow, sharp visor, but the AI has kind of made it just look derpy and kiddish, which I'm not really a fan of. But if we look at it in Blender, the topology is definitely workable. So if we needed to, we could just go into sculpt mode and fix the shape of the visor manually. And even though the topology is not great, for the amount of time and the price that it would have cost to get this, so far so good. Now let's actually try and break it. Now I'm almost 100% certain that as soon as we throw a woman into the AI, it's gonna break. But before we do that, let's throw a man in there first. Here's a concept from one of my buddies that I've always wanted to bring to life in 3D. So let's see how good it looks in Rodin. Okay, so it's not as good as I'd hoped it would be. Something I'm starting to notice about Rodin is, again, it kind of misses the proportions and the original designs of the shape. Like, I don't know, compared to the original reference, he looks like he kind of gained some weight. And once again, the helmet just looks kind of sad and derpy. Like, we had this slick, sharp, narrow design for the helmet and the visor, and we just completely lost that. And just to show you what I mean, if we throw the exact same picture into one of the other AIs like Trellis, you know, yeah, the topology we get is kind of ass, but it does a much better job at staying faithful to the original designs and the proportions. The waist is narrow, the helmet looks sharp, the overall shape is very attractive, and I'm telling you as an artist, it doesn't matter how good your topology is, if the proportions are not right, the character is not going to look right. But yeah, technically, we could fix the proportions in Blender or ZBrush, but yeah, I would say so far, one of the biggest weaknesses that I'm seeing in Rodin is it kind of makes everything wider and it loses the proportions. Okay, so because it kind of failed the night, I actually have zero expectations for it to do the female correctly. But what the hell, let's just try it anyway. Now, I'm hoping it will at least give us a usable hair blob that we could sculpt with. Because I hate making hair. And, well, yeah. I kind of figured this would happen, but uh, I don't know, what can I say? If you ever want to break an AI, you just throw a woman into it, and yeah, you're probably going to get this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe that wasn't fair. Maybe Let's let's try a different pose. Let's just try a full body concept art. Okay, all right. Maybe, maybe that was the problem, because this almost looks usable. It's definitely not really that faithful to the original, but the idea is kind of there. I probably wouldn't use this as a base for a fully flushed out character, but if I was making a game that was just like a top-down shooter like League of Legends or Fire Emblem, where the player is never gonna see any of the characters up close, from far away, this is definitely, like, usable, where the players could probably still enjoy the game. 
So there we have it. I am officially out of credits now. So just to wrap up my closing thoughts on this, it has potential. I think if you're doing small props like helmets, armor, you know, axes, shields, swords, and that kind of stuff, I think Rodan actually does a pretty good job at making things usable with workable topology. It's definitely better than other AIs, and you'd probably still have to go through and fix a few things. But as far as props and standalone things like furniture goes, I could definitely see Rodan having a place in the workflow there. Where I would not use it is generating full characters. Maybe if your character is simple enough, you could try it, but for the stuff that I do, it definitely still needs some work. But remember, this is all still super early, so I do look forward to seeing them make improvements to this. But regardless, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.